Khais wa khatim, the seal of the prophethood given to the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli wa nusallim wa ala rasulihi al-kareem. Amma ba'd. Only listening to speakers does not bring any revolutionary change in our lives. Nowadays, it has become a norm that people look for fancy speakers. Before inviting a speaker, in their local masjid, people go onto the YouTube to shop for speakers. And the only thing they know about the speaker is that he sounds very good. The management of the masjid the chairman of the masjid, the secretary of the masjid, or those, a few individuals who have been appointed to look for a speaker for a particular program, none ulama, not familiar with the ilm at all. They go on to the YouTube, they will listen to this speaker, that speaker, this speaker, that speaker, they will shortlist the speakers. And what is the criteria? He sounds good. He is attractive. He is not boring. That should not be the criteria because lectures are not for entertainment. Lectures are for education and to bring about a change in people's lives. So one should always look for a speaker who is of sound attire, sound belief, whose ideology is perfect according to the ideology of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. And he is a recognized personality by not the masses, by the luminaries of the time. And who is also God-fearing and a godly person, in whose company you remember Allah more and the worldly objectives less. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was once asked by the Sahaba Rizwanullahi ta'ala alayhi wa jama'in Man nujalis With whom should we sit? We are hearing over and over again that we must adopt good company. We must adopt good company. So how do we know whether the company we are in is good or bad from the Islamic perspective? So the Sahabai Karam Rizwanullah Ta'ala Alayhi Mujameen asked Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Man Nujalis who should be our companion? With whom should we sit? With whom should we spend our time? <laughs> Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned three signs. If you find these three signs in a person that is pious company, that is the person you should sit with. 
نمبر ون ون ہو ریمائنڈ یو آف اللہ سبحان ون ہو ریمائنڈ یو آف اللہ سبحان ون ہو کمپنی ریمائنڈ یو مور آف اللہ سبحان دین اینی تھنگ ایلس بی سائڈ یو دا پرسن ان ہوز کمپنی یو ایکسپیرینس دی یرننگ to acquire the close proximity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In whose company you experience the yearning to acquire the love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> Our condition is that when we are on our own or when we are with our friends we think more about objects, individuals other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala idhar dekha, udhar dekha ise dekha, use dekha ادھر دیکھا ادھر دیکھا یو ہیو لک ٹوز یور رائٹ یو ہیو لک ٹوز یور لیفٹ یو ہیو لک بہائنڈ یو یو ہیو لک ان فرنٹ آف یو یو ہیو لک ابو یو یو ہیو لک بلو ہیئر اینڈ دیر ادھر دیکھا ادھر دیکھا یو ہیو لک ہیئر اینڈ دیر اسے دیکھا اسے دیکھا یو ہیو سین ہیم اینڈ دس پرسن اینڈ دیٹ پرسن So basically, the poet is trying to say, you have seen everything. You have seen all around you and you have seen everything. You have seen the shopping center, you have seen the mall, you have seen Victoria Falls, you have seen Taj Mahal, you have seen Big Ben, CN Tower in Toronto, Eiffel Tower in Paris. We have people sitting here from all these places. Idhar dekha, udhar dekha, ise dekha, use dekha. Na dekha yaar ko ag yaar me. Na dekha yaar ko. Yaar means friend. And ag yaar means things and people besides yaar, besides friend. So, Yaar is Allah. And Ahiya, everything besides Allah. So, you have seen everything, but you were unable to see Yaar amongst the Ahiya. Allah. <laughs> you have seen the moon and you have reached the moon. You have seen everything. The only thing you are unable to see is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. See means you are unable to recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by looking at the creation. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ard wa akhtilafi al-layli wa al-nahar la ayati li ulil al-baab. In the creation of the heavens and the earth and in the coming of the night and day after each other. The night comes after the, after the day and the day comes after the night. وَاخْتِلَا فِي اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَرِ لَا آيَاتِ are indeed signs لِأُلِلْ الْبَابِ for the people of intellect. And who are the people of intellect? Who ponder over the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as a result of this pondering and this contemplation they recognize the creator and after recognizing the creator they remember the creator الَّذِينَ يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ قِيَامًا وَقُوْدًا وَعَلَى جُنُوبِهِمْ وَيَتَفَكَّرُونَ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ 
they contemplate, they ponder, they think deep and study the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Khais wa khatim, the seal of the prophethood given to the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.